Welcome back, I'm Dr. Ross Kopelman. Today we're gonna to talk about where you get Botox injections. Now I do wanna stress that Botox is the most popular non-invasive cosmetic procedure done in the United States with over 7 million people getting Botox injections every single year. Now Botox is a neuromodulator, which means that it works by paralyzing muscles of the face temporarily, I wanna stress temporarily, actually with Botox, it lasts for about three to four months. So when you do get Botox injections, you typically get them about three times a year. And when you paralyze the muscles of the face, you're actually able to soften wrinkles. So in many cases, if you get Botox injections in your early 20s or your 30s, you can prevent the formation of wrinkles because you're paralyzing certain muscles. If you get Botox injections later in life, you're still gonna have those wrinkles, but you're going to be able to soften the wrinkles. You're not gonna see them be as pronounced as they normally would be. Now, I do wanna stress the following. Botox has other competitors, Dysport, Javu, Xeomin, and a new competitor in the near future called Daxi. Daxi is currently in clinical trials three, and it's showing very promising results that when injected into the glabella or the forehead, it's lasting up to 24 weeks. So it's very promising, and I think we're gonna hear a lot more about it in the future because you won't have to get these cosmetic injections as frequently as you currently need to when you get Botox injections. Now, before I explain where we do injections on the face, I just want to dispel a misconception that when you get Botox, that does not mean you're going to be expressionless. In fact, you need to go to someone who has a lot of experience, a cosmetic injector, who knows the subtleties of where to inject so that you maintain your normal expressions when you're laughing, talking, and smiling. Now let's talk about the areas on your face where we do injections. So the glabella, right between the eyebrows or the 11 lines is where we always usually inject. We like to put anywhere from 10 to 20 units. And again, it's all based upon your particular facial anatomy. I can't stress that enough that don't assume you need a certain amount of Botox units in each particular area of your face because your face is different compared to your friend's face or a celebrity's face. So if you go to someone who's competent, they will inject the appropriate amount of Botox into the regions of your face. Now, the next popular area where we inject is the crow's feet. And this is caused by the orbicularis muscle. So if you try to frown, usually you will tend to see little lines here. I actually have Botox injections over there, so you don't really see any lines when I talk. But if you look at your family members or friends, or you look at pictures of people who've never had Botox injections, and when they smile, you might notice these lines. And so it's very easy to knock those lines out by injecting anywhere from 10 to 12 units of Botox in that region. So we talked about the glabella, we talked about the crow's feet. The next area is the frontalis muscle, which is your forehead muscle. Now the frontalis muscle is very important because it raises your brow, as you can see. Sometimes you can form lines here. Now you could still see I have lines here, and that's because I didn't want to knock out all the muscles that allow me to have normal expression of my face. Now one of the things that's very important when it comes to the forehead is, yes, we want to knock out some of these lines, okay, but you don't want to knock out all of them because it's part of your normal expression. You still want to be able to raise your brow and lower your brow, okay? And so one of the things that is very important when you get injections is that you don't want your injector to put too much in the middle of your brow because then it will lower the brow and create a Spock look. And so that's one of the complications that you can get from Botox. And because Botox is not reversible, it doesn't last forever, it's temporary. As I mentioned, it lasts for three to four months, but because it's not reversible, you can't go back from that. And so that's why it's very important that the injector that you go to, the cosmetic injector, really has an understanding for the anatomy of the face and understands that you don't want a Spock look to your brow. You want a natural contour. And so that's important to stress. Other areas of the face that we inject are the bunny lines, 
We also inject over here. And why do we eject over here at the corners of the mouth? Well, there's a depressor muscle that pulls the lip down. This is normal. If we inject into here, you can actually raise your smile. And so if you put little amounts of Botox in that region, it can have a very beneficial effect in terms of making you look a little more lively and a little happier. Botox can also be injected into your chin to decrease wrinkles. And in some cases, people have gummy smiles. We can inject at the corners of the nose and lower the lips slightly so that when you smile, you do not see as much of the gummy smile. I do wanna emphasize that when you do get Botox injection, you should expect to get slight bruising and slight bleeding. And the other thing I do wanna emphasize is that the results are not immediate. You will see results within two to three days after your treatment. If you happen to have gotten injections, and you don't really see the results that you want. You can always get a little more Botox. So for instance, sometimes we have patients who come in and we give them you know, injections in the crow's feet and the right side has no more lines and the left side still has some sight lines. So sometimes we'll inject a little more Botox into the left side. And so little modifications sometimes have to be made uh, and that's perfectly fine. That's part of the uh, process. I do want you to recognize that we do have asymmetries of our face and sometimes we might need to use a little more Botox on one side of the face versus the other, and that's completely normal. I hope you found this video informative and feel that you have a little more confidence to now have that conversation with your cosmetic doctor, dermatologist, or plastic surgeon when you get injections. If you have any further questions about Botox, please leave them below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.